Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a project I ran over the last few months, the first generation of my 3D printed automated garden. The goal with this project is to slowly design a scalable indoor automated garden that can be made cheaply and works reliably. I plan to work on this project over many years and this is just my first attempt, so I ran into many issues, but it's all a part of the process. This video will be split into three main sections. First, I'm going to be showing the process of building the garden. Second, I will show the timeline of growing a few plants in the garden. And finally, I will go over the issues I faced and what I'm considering for the next version of the project. First off, however, let's take a quick look at some of the time lapses I took during the early process of the garden. A lot of this project was made from parts that I found around my house, including a few pots and a under the bed storage unit. I started the project by cutting holes to fit the pots into the top of the storage unit, and then after that I went on to design a modular mounting system that clips onto the pot rims. I had enough to fit eight of these in the project. From there, I printed small net pots to hold mineral wool cubes, and these cubes would stay saturated to hold and grow the seedling. The systems were mounted on the pots and surrounded by clay balls for the roots to have somewhere to grip to while growing. I then printed small clips and put tubing with plastic drippers into each of the mineral wool cubes. The tubing, drippers, as well as an automated water pump were all from the same affordable kit I found on Amazon which is available in the description below. I've also included a link to the 3D printed files, but they're very specific to the size pots I have, so I would recommend waiting until a future version of this project is done if you'd like to build something like this. I was using a 300 watt growing LED and some Aero Garden liquid plant food, which I also got on Amazon. It's been about 19 hours since I started the garden project and the the wool cubes are still pretty saturated maybe a little bit around the edges on on some of them but I've got celery celery um, iceberg lettuce in all three of these oh, hopefully I didn't break anything and then uh, butter crunch lettuce in all three of these so we'll see how that goes Oh, and I have this going for two minutes, once an hour, and then this shuts off at midnight, turns on at 8 a.m. Uh, for the light. But this goes all day, even, even when the light's off. I washed all these clay pellets prior to um, putting them in the pots, but I am noticing that there is some, some clay sediment still falling out the bottom of the pots into the water. I don't know if that'll be an issue or not. Um, I do plan on changing the water every once in a while, so hopefully it'll I can clean that out whenever I do that. It's now Thursday afternoon, and I started this project uh, Monday night. Um, the water cubes, or the mineral cubes, are mostly still soaked all the way around with a few little tiny areas as exceptions, if you can see right there, um, maybe on the corner here. But uh, for the most part, they're still mostly soaked, so that's a good sign, I think. And the system's still running every hour, and this is shutting off at the right times. It's now Sunday, uh, May 24th, I believe, and uh, I put the system together on Monday, um, so almost a week ago, and I'm seeing the first 
seedlings pop out, so I've got two. Okay, I'm expecting this guy to come out soon because he's the same. These are iceberg lettuce seeds. They were they were the largest seeds that I planted. Um, I took a quick peek at the celery. Uh, I didn't see any roots developing in those seeds, so and it's been a week, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I also know that that seed package had like a a popsicle melted into it, so I don't know if that messed it up, but we'll see. I'll give it another uh, week, and if not, I'll put a different type of seed in there. And then the butter crunch lettuce haven't seen any development yet. All right, so it's been uh, two weeks and one day now that this system's been going. All of the plants have sprouted, and the uh, the water is just pumping right now. I'm going to do my first nutrient change. So. I've been using this Aero Garden liquid plant food. It says for house plants to put two milliliters per gallon. So I did half of that for the first uh, bit to get the seeds started so I didn't over nutrient them. But this time I'm going to put two milliliters per gallon. And I believe this is a uh, two gallons in the system right now. So there's gonna be four milliliters of that. I'm gonna put that in this bucket, but first I'm gonna drain out this liquid. I have two drain holes under here. I'm just gonna drill those out a little bit bigger and uh, I'm also gonna end this time lapse here. It's been going for a little over a week. Now that we're seeing the project further underway, I started noticing some issues creeping up. The first sign was seen in this clip where the mineral wool was turning black and slimy. And uh, the bases of some of my plants were too weak to hold up the plant properly, particularly the celery and what I thought was butter crunch lettuce, but it turns out it was not lettuce at all. It's now July 13th, I guess it's been probably close to two months that this has been going. These did not end up being butter crunch lettuce. Uh, I guess the package was mislabeled and I believe they're carrots so I'm not sure how they'll grow properly and the celery is doing eh. I, I only replace the nutrients about once every two weeks. Um, I'm gonna start replacing it weekly now uh, the lettuce is the part that's been doing the best, I would say. Shortly after this, I was able to collect the lettuce from the system, but unfortunately the celery went limp and died, and the carrots also died. The lettuce was fine though, aside from not forming an iceberg lettuce head. I had no issues with eating it. In the end, looking back at version 1 of the system, I had three major issues. One was that the water in the reservoir would get algae growth after about a week, and I needed to clean it out thoroughly every time. Secondly, the mineral wool had a tendency to mold quickly, and while it did not seem to affect plant growth, it might be dangerous to breathe in. Thirdly, the piping was getting clogged up with algae and did not have an easy way to clean it out. Moving forward, what I'm going to try to do to resolve these issues in the next version is potentially putting in a UV disinfector in line with the tubing. I'm no longer going to use mineral wool cubes, and I'm also going to try to transition away from parts that I found around my house to a design with even more 3D printed parts so that other people can build the system alongside me. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.